everybody, it's Chase with American Vintage Adventures again, and today I am here at Magic Kingdom with my boy Justin, and up, we, <laughs> there he is over there, I promise oh, you the camera doesn't want to fall. Uh, we are here to see how two guys tackle Disney on a vacation during the most busy time of the year. Come with me, I got you, let's go do this. We have started out this morning at Magic Kingdom. We got here, we're staying on property, but we didn't quite make the early entry. Early entry was at 7.30. We got here at eight o'clock, came right in, got a coffee, headed over to Pirates. We do not have a huge plan today, but we do have Genie Plus. We were able to book a Tron Lightning Lane, or a Tron Virtual Queue at seven o'clock this morning, and with Genie Plus, we have uh, Haunted Mansion here in about an hour. So it's gonna be a crazy time. Let's see what we can do. All right, Justin, here we go. Here we go. Pirates of the Caribbean and because this is one of the most popular rides I mean I love Pirates of the Caribbean it's one of the most Disney rides that you can do in my opinion but it is a very popular ride and right now we are here in one of the most popular times of the year I'm going to try to give you some tips on how to beat the crowds even during the most popular times of the year most crowded times of the year while just kind of taking you along to see how two guys do Disney. And uh, you have an experienced person like me who's an ass holder and I have this vlog obviously and all that kind of stuff. And then you have my friend who has not been here in 20 years. So you're gonna get some different perspectives and just hang out with us. And I'll give you some cool tips along the way. Right now, my first tip would be stay on property if you can. You get 30 minutes early entry to the park. That is a big deal. Uh, you can really get a few rides done that quick. Now we didn't quite make it in for early entry, but we got here right right as it was ending and we're able to come in, get a coffee, come right over here. Pirates was a walk on and this is a day in which Genie Plus is already sold out at $39 for the day. Um, we did pick up Genie Plus. I also was able to get us a Tron uh, virtual queue for this morning. So you have to make sure you are up and on your phone at 7 a.m. with your party selected and ready to go to get that Tron virtual queue. Then I went ahead and picked us up a early individual purchase uh, Lightning Lane for Seven Dwarfs. So we have Seven Dwarfs, Tron, and then with Genie Plus, the first pick was Haunted Mansion that we have for early today. And that kind of has us stacked up a little bit. As soon as we ring in at Haunted Mansion, I can get another one or when the two hour windows expired. So we can start stacking those and we'll have some heavy hitters lined up and ready to go. And then we can just kind of enjoy our day, which may include a mid-afternoon monorail crawl, which I will document a little on here and on another video. But come hang out with us and I'll give you some cool tips along the way. Let's go do it. It is 8.58, I am backlit by the sun, and we have been called over to join our Tron boarding group. We got group 20, so pretty early in the morning. Then we have seven doors stacked right behind it in a, I think, 9.35 to 10.35 window. And then right behind that is Haunted Mansion in a 10.30 to 11.30 or other conditions that could be aggravated by this experience. We survived being digitized in Tron. 
blue team won. Does the blue team always win? Blue team won. And now we have it. It still hasn't gotten completely full and crowded in here yet. The thing is the people got off to a late start. Um, but like I said, Genie Plus did sell out. Right now though, we are on our way over to the individual purchase lightning lane at Seven Dwarfs. So far everything is lined up nice. We got off of Tron at 9.35 and our window for Seven Dwarfs is 9.35 to 10.35. So we're making our way over to do the next big coaster here. So the line right now is 95 minutes long or 95 minute wait on the line for Seven Dwarves. We have our individually purchased Lightning Lane, which if you want to ride this ride, I recommend. If you want to ride this ride, I recommend you either get up and rope drop it or you get up and get you an individual lightning lane because the line for this ride is very long. Here we go, Justin. Go. Woo! Woo! recommend riding Tron right before it because then it, it, it doesn't feel like anything like you don't even get like the little stomach thrill on the drop. <laughs> Pro tip don't ride Tron then walk right over and ride. Good. Yeah that's what happened with me. <laughs> so we were on and off of um, Seven Dwarfs with the fast pass or lightning lane in about 15 minutes. So it's only 9.50. Uh, the lightning lane for Haunted Mansion doesn't start until 10.30. So we were right here, figured might as well go check out uh, Under the Sea with Ariel. It's only a 10 minute wait. We're grabbing everything we can this morning while the crowds are still low as people are filtering in. That is another tip during the uh, crowded times. Book the stuff that you can and then get to the other stuff. Take it as you, you can. Grab anything that's a short line if rides are priority for you because they will fill up over the course of the day. This isn't a high priority ride for us, but it's something to do to fill in. And uh, we're gonna do it. souls we just uh, survived our trip under the sea smacked Ursula around she lost uh, Ariel convinced Eric to kiss her which was her plot all along and uh, that beat the bad guy now it is 1020 and we are on our way over to catch our lightning lane at Haunted Mansion this starts at 1030 
This is the line for Haunted Mansion. So Haunted Mansion is over an hour, but we have our lightning lane still a couple of minutes out from it. We'll see how quick we can check in. This uh, trip around the crowded park for a stop at Casey's. Now we have a monorail crawl planned later that starts at Steakhouse 71, but we needed a little snack and Casey's has this new cool uh, french fry thing that you can order, which is a Chipotle barbecue loaded french fry. So I had to come and try it. It's 7.49. It's this big plate of fries with pulled pork, coleslaw, and a Chipotle barbecue sauce on it. Nothing to do but give it a try. Piping hot. Mm. You get that Chipotle flavor. Not spicy, really good flavor. Good crunchy slaw, good crunchy fries. Nice little snack over here. Of course, I love the spring rolls. And you can never go wrong here with the corn dog nuggets, but I thought I would try the fries today. I'm gonna eat them and we'll check back later. All right, we finished up our snack over at Casey's and I'm dropping my camera. We finished up our snack and- the long Tuesday. <laughs> uh, Justin went with the not regular size hot dog. He went with the foot long and instantly regretted his decision. <laughs> Correct. Because that was supposed to be a snack. <laughs> Rookies never learn. They, they, they got to get some experience to become veterans. But we decided to come over, let our snack settle, ride People Mover. It was listed as a 30 minute wait. Uh, it's been maybe 10 minutes and we're about to head on up. And uh, I'll catch you later. So 
this is another tip. It's not just riding. It's it's another tip for beating the crowd. When it's super crowded. Now, it covers just the floor, travelers. Welcome but if you do the little circuit where you get on people mover and then you get into uh, Carousel of Progress right here together, they're usually not long lines. Get on pretty quick, no matter how crowded it is. And that's going to give you about 40 minutes of just set down time after you eat or let crowds die down. into all that too and extend it out even more some tiki room you get you a full two hours or so setting down short lines shows and we're going to use it to let our food settle right now and i'll catch you later we are off of carousel of progress and the people mover so we've had about 45 minutes to chill out let our little snack settle we're about an hour or so until our reservation at Steakhouse 71, uh, which is something I also recommend when it's really crowded is in the middle of the day, get out of the parks, take a break, go and get something to eat somewhere, go back to your hotel, chill out, and then come back, recharge for the second half of the day. You kind of avoid the most crowded part of the day, and if it's hot, you avoid that. If it's cold outside, you get back in, get warmed up, get recharged, and we're gonna kind of hang out here a little bit more, and then that's what we're gonna go do at Steakhouse 71. Man, I wish I had American Vintage Adventure here to show me where to go. <laughs> Oh, oh hey! <laughs> so that is Main Street right now at 1 o'clock on December 29th. Uh, so we are about to beat the crowds by heading out of the park, going to Steakhouse 71 and doing us a little monorail crawl and then a little rest up and come back because the park is open till midnight tonight. That is a good way to beat the crowds. We've got a lot done this morning. Going to stack some lightning lanes for later in the evening and come back after a fun little monorail crawl from the Contemporary to the Poly and the Grand Floridian and rest at the hotel and then come back and finish out the evening. See you later. We are back from our little sojourn to uh, do a monorail crawl we're back in magic kingdom it is extremely crowded in here now there isn't very much under an hour wait even it's a small world is out down the street but we're gonna go in mickey's fill our magic it's the most crowded week of the year and justin has us here so we're gonna see what we can do to make the best of it dang it justin Mickey's Philhar Magic is a good tip. Takes a whole theater full of people. <laughs> There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. But here we go. All right, so we are out of Mickey's Philhar Magic. The place is absolutely packed. We still have about two hours before our last lightning lanes. There's nothing we want to stand in line for over an hour for. So I'm on my way over to Adventureland to pick up a Pirates of the Caribbean lounge fly for my mom. Then we're gonna head back out and see if we can get into uh, the lounge at Steakhouse 71, grab a little something to eat, and then walk back over and catch our lightning lanes. If we can't, we might end our day at Magic Kingdom right there and head down to uh, Disney Springs to maybe the Edison, something like that to grab some dinner and that just goes to show you that you got to kind of go with the flow a little bit when it is like super super crowded like it is right now i mean it is it's one of those it's at capacity today they're not letting any more reservations be made or anything like that so it is extremely full we're going to see what we can do So on our guys day, beating the crowds at the most crowded time of the year at Disney World, we've come back over to Steakhouse 71 for the second time today. Uh, we had a little monor monorail crawl in the middle of the day to uh, get away from the crowds a little bit. 
Not passing up on the uh, stack burger this time. This is my favorite burger on property. It's got the smashed uh, burger patties. It's got the onions. It's got the melty cheese. Absolutely perfect. Best burger on property. There's no better way to beat the crowds than to come over here, hit the lounge without having to wait. First come, first serve. Get you a stack burger, enjoy it. I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> All right, we are leaving it's Steakhouse 71 again. <laughs> Justin forgot where we were. He couldn't think of it. We are leaving Steakhouse 71 at the Contemporary again today on our Beat the Crowd Guys Day at Disney on the most busy day ever. Uh, words of Pulp Fiction. That is one tasty burger. <laughs> it was. It is the best burger on property. We are headed back in. It is about 7.15 p.m. Park is open for almost five more hours. So we are headed back in to try to catch a couple of lightning lanes before deciding whether or not we wrap this thing up early. Here we go. <laughs> into the darkness. We have made our way over to Space Mountain to catch the first of our four stacked lightning lanes. We'll see if we make it through getting through all of them. We're a little bit tired. The crowds are still crazy, but here we go. All right, we are off Space Mountain. It is about eight o'clock. The fireworks show is about to start, even though the park is open until midnight. We've been fighting the crowds since very early, and this would be my last tip to you uh, to handle crowds. We still have three possible lightning lanes that we could do. The park is open about four more hours, but we are planning to hit Epcot tomorrow at Rope Drop. So we're trying to save something in the tank for tomorrow, and you have to remember that when you are going back to your room, if you're staying on property, it's gonna take you about an hour to get out of here, get on your bus and get back. So then you're gonna have to shower, whatever you need to do. We're gonna call it quits right there tonight and head back to the room. But keep in mind, we still have three more lightning lanes we could do. So even on the most crowded day here, when Genie Plus sold out, when they wouldn't let anybody else in the park today uh, with a park reservation, we were able to do Seven Dwarfs, Tron, Space Mountain. Uh, what else did we do? We did Pirates. We did Haunted Mansion. Carousel of Progress. Carousel of Progress. People Mover. People Mover. <laughs> we also did uh, Under the Sea with Ariel. We did... Uh, something else too we did a lot today we also went out in the middle of the day had a monorail crawl came back went back out and had dinner and came back we also had a snack today at casey's casey's hot dog <laughs> so we did a lot today even though it was completely packed uh, got a coffee a couple of times so it was it was a full day oh mickey's philhar magic we did so we did a lot it can be done you just have to plan accordingly. You're not gonna be able to sleep in and then get everything you want. You're gonna have to make the decision to get up and get out here. And sometimes that might mean leaving a little early so that you can get up and do that again the next day, which is what we're gonna do. And uh, until next time, hey, if you've enjoyed this and I hope it's helped you out, please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And until next time, this is Chase with Justin. <laughs> of American Vintage Adventures saying have a great ABA day and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.